Good afternoon students, this is teacher Roberto and in this section of the lesson I would like to explain um, a bit about modal verbs. Um, the use of modal verbs, what is, what is the use of them? So they're used to give orders, suggestions and are also used to show abilities. The ones in pink, the verbs must and should they are used to give suggestions and advice. Must means debe. She must, ella debe, she must study, she must study science if she wants, if she wants to pass. She must study science, right? Must study. She must study. And Pay attention to this one. In With the other verbs, we normally add S to the verbs, but with must, we do not add any S when we are uh, working with she, or when we are using she as the subject. She must study. We don't, um, we don't use also to. We don't have to use to in this, in this sentence, so please do not add to and do not add any s to the verbs, especially if we are talking about modal verbs. They are neutral, they don't have s, and they don't have to. Um, this is basically a general rule with them. Of course, we have exceptions, and um, but I'm not going to cover the exceptions today, right? A must. She must study science if she wants to pass. Should. Should is or means debería. And is normally used to give suggestions, to give advice. So, um, here, he should go. He should go to, um, to the hospital. He should go to the hospital for a health for a health check. He should go to a hospital for a health check. So as I told you before, we don't have to add any S and we don't have to, to, to add any two over here, any infinitive. So the verb goes like this. He should go to the hospital for a health check can and could. Can and could are used to show abilities, are used um, when we want to, to tell others that we have certain abilities and we want to share that with them. So we use can. For example, I can. I can swim very well. I can swim very well. Or she can understand she can understand English pretty nice hmm? she can understand English pretty nice so it's an ability understanding is an ability too or you you can you can um, let me let me give you, um, Salomon can speak German. Salomon can speak German. So it's an ability. Could we also use could to to um, to talk about abilities? Um, I I could. I could um I could speak Italian. I could speak Italian. I could speak Italian. Right? Yo podía. I could speak Italian. Sometimes we lost the language because we don't have that much ex um exposure to it. So we kinda like lost to some extent some um so words or the ability to speak it pretty well. So I could speak Italian or he could type 
fast. He could type fast, right? Type fast. He could type fast in the computer. So probably the the lack of practice um, is a factor that um, affect his ability to type fast. So we use could to talk about abilities that we had or um, and we are losing them because of the lack of practice. Have to. Have to is when we give orders, right? Um, if um, you have, you have to wash, you have to wash the dishes. You have to wash the dishes today. This is an order. Mm -hmm. It's really strong. This one is really strong. We, um, we normally uh, do not use this with people that we don't we don't know, right? We don't talk like that because it's considered a bit impolite. So you have to wash the dishes. It's also um, it means tener que, tú tienes que, right? You have to wash the dishes. With she we use she has. She has. She has to study. She has to study. If she wants to pass, she has to study. If she wants to pass, pay attention to this one here with has. This verb is the, is the exception of these ones. Here with must, should, can, and could, we didn't have to add any s to the verb or to, but here the verb changes if we are talking about she, he, or it. Basically, this is it. This topic is. Um, the use of models is pretty easy. I'm only explaining you the use of models in affirmative sentences. Uh, I have not included the negative part. So in future videos, I'll be including the, the, the negative and the indirective um, part of, of the model verbs. Once again, students, if you have questions, you can always drop me a line, or drop me a message on, on, on WhatsApp or on it model. And I'll be more than happy to assist you in your um, in your concerns or in any doubt that you may have. The quiz about about this grammar point is um, about organizing sentences. Um, I'm gonna give you a sentence um, in this order, and you have to put it in order. That's one part. On the other one, um, I'm gonna give. Uh, you the the space to write five sentences using must, should, can, could, and have to. So that's basically the the quiz about this um, section of the grammar um, of the of the module about um, uh, resources. That's the topic that we're gonna be covering. Uh, natural resources. Um, I'll be explaining in the next period about. These activities, uh, I'm gonna divide this 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 module in in two videos so that you know the videos are not that long. Thank you so much for your attention, and see you uh, see you in class.